Hi, I'm Ian Stark for New Blue, and in this video we're going to take a closer look at the basics of adding and configuring graphics in your production, such as lower thirds, bugs, and picture-in-pictures. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you, among other things, how to add graphics from the library, how to configure them, play them, assign multiple values ahead of time, and how to update graphics while you're broadcasting live. For the sake of this tutorial, let's say I run a small business called Vocal Reels, and during my weekly live stream, I want to tell my viewers where they can find me on social media. I'll do that using a graphic overlay. So, I'm going to open up the library where I'll find plenty of options. I'm going to open the ceramic folder, and let's see what we find there. Well, first off, you can see that by hovering over any graphic, it brings up an instant demo in the preview panel. Not only does it briefly show you what the graphic looks like, but it also shows you how it animates on and off. I'm going to select Ceramic Lower Third and add it to the project by dragging it from the library into the project panel. Now I'll close the library panel to give us a little bit more room. You can see that the lower third is displayed in the preview panel, and we also have something going on down here in the properties panel. In the Live Values tab of the Properties panel, we find a list of all the parameters that can be changed in this particular graphic design. Now, many of the prefets have a bunch of default values already set up, and of course, those aren't relevant to my business needs, so let's tweak them. I'll start by editing the text values in the Properties panel. We also have a subtitle field, but rather than editing that in the Properties panel, I'm going to do that directly in the graphic itself. The preset image has nothing to do with my branding, so I'm going to replace that by clicking Choose Image and selecting my business banner. I'll also change the logo, and again, I can also do that by clicking on the graphic in the preview panel. That logo doesn't work too well against the colour of the background, so let me change that as well. I'm going to use the eyedropper to select this gold colour, and I think I'll drop the opacity a smidge. And there you go, all done. Captivate also gives you full control over any gradients in your design. Although that's not something I want here, so I'm going to change it to something more fitting for our style. Great, that's completely altered the preset to match the branding of my business. Now, I want this graphic to be a little more prominent on screen, so I'm going to move it by clicking and dragging in the preview panel. And I'll size it by dragging one of the handles. The corner handles size the graphic proportionally, while the top and side handles size it vertically or horizontally. For pixel accurate control, visit the Transform tab and type your values in directly. OK, that's my basic graphic configured and positioned. I'll now play it out by simply clicking the play button, and there it is in the program monitor, patiently waiting for me to play it off, which I do by clicking the play button again. Now. Imagine I'm in a live broadcasting situation, and I want to make a change to a graphic while it's on air. Totally doable. I just edit the text, and it's done. Automatically updating the graphic that your viewers are seeing. Now, there are some variables that you can't update while the graphic is playing live, and those are shown in the Properties panel in Italics. In this case, I can't edit the colours or the gradient, only the text, the image, and the icon. And as before, I can just as easily edit a parameter in the preview pane to update it in real time. So, what if I have multiple sets of parameters? I also want to tell people where they can find my business on Instagram and YouTube. Enter the values grid. And it's so simple. All I do is double click on an empty row, enter my new text, select a new graphic, and do that all again for the YouTube link. Now I can copy and paste values between rows to make life easier. Just click and drag and use your copy and paste shortcuts. And that's all done. Now, when I play the graphic and double click on the various lines in the values grid, it smoothly updates the graphic in real time. Being inherently lazy, I'm happy for Captivate to do all the work for me. So I'm going to add these three variations to a sequence. And now when I play the graphic, it will automatically cycle through the different versions until I tell it to stop. How handy is that? 
And finally for this tutorial, I just want to show you how easy it is to add multiple graphics that can play live at the same time. In the Sport and Present versions of Captivate you can play up to three graphics simultaneously, while in the Broadcast version there's no limit. Here's a simple animated background graphic and a table of data that I've dragged in from the library and customised. To show them all at the same time, just hit play on each corresponding item in the project panel. In a future tutorial, we'll explore using shots to group multiple elements and launch them with a single click. Now, wouldn't it be cool if I could link that table of data to an external spreadsheet? Indeed it would, and luckily for us, we're going to find out exactly how to do that in the next tutorial. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Thanks for watching.